What's going on investment family on today's episode we're going to take a quick look at the market right now there are a few stocks that are trending and some recent news that i found pretty interesting so let's jump right into it all right the first stock we're going to jump into is going to be beachbody for those that are not familiar beachbody they kind of have moved into this super company that's offering a lot of fitness online videos and stuff like that their ceo even went to say that they want to become like the future disney plus or the future Netflix of fitness. I have used their products or, or, or browsed through them. Uh, and it seems pretty interesting for sure. They're definitely hitting a great market and I can see the potential growth. The stock right now is traded under the New York Stock Exchange as ticker BODY. It is down about 7.5% no real major news for the main pullback it's just yesterday it, it, there was a lot of excitement yesterday since the overall merger happened um, but right now nothing crazy it just seems to be volatility if we take a quick look at the overall charts we can see right this overextension we saw in the past three days or so uh, of how the stock price has really pulled back now it's pulling back down to moving averages the second one i want to take a look at is amd right this is in the semiconductor industry obviously a market i'm super super bullish in and this is a stock i definitely enjoy it's sitting in my portfolio right now and it's up about 3.11 percent amd is i think my number five or number four biggest position in my portfolio uh we can see right a lot of excitement right now in the stock uh, there has been a few news articles that have came out today and yesterday that i, I feel are really feeling the stock price movement the first thing is amd um there is this list that is shared every i want to say i think it's every six months uh I, it might be sooner but i know it's at least every six months where they talk about the 500 fastest supercomputers in the world and they let you know about everything from the cpus the gpus and other products that they're using within that 500 list there's about 49 that are being powered by the epic processor this is amazing news compared to more than double of the 21 computers they had in fall of 2020 and more than quadruple the 11 supercomputers that were using the chip makers processor as of summer of 2020 it's also pretty cool out of the 49 supercomputers within this top 500 list 29 of them are new entries into the into this list and three of them are actually in the top 10 list that's pretty impressive for sure another thing that i found impressive their highest supercomputer was number five and it was this u.s department's energy supercomputer and it uses the amd's epic cpu and it also uses one of my favorite companies gpus the nvidia um, gpu if we take a look at the list right it's not the people are probably only think of amd and intel there's also other ways that can other type of cpu users especially for the super market uh for the supercomputer market for sure so it's not just a battle between amd and intel here uh, a few things to know is intel did see some form of improvements too they saw 20 new 26 new computers using its processors and added to the list as well but their fastest computer is number seven so it's a little bit slower than amd's fastest supercomputer that is pretty impressive uh, so i do believe that's a great reason the stock right just good good publicity for amd another thing i want to mention though is amd has shown growth in the cpu market but they haven't shown growth in the gpu market share um, we can see a lot of the early top 10 are being powered by nvidia's um, gpus or another one i saw was the melanox um products as well so that's actually pretty impressive we can see amd is a stock i really enjoy right now i've been talking about this is one that i feel is again none of this is advice but one that i feel has been pretty quiet recently uh, a lot of people are waiting for that Silenex acquisition um, and Silenex, however you guys want to say it, um, but it's been pretty quiet right now. It does seem a bit overextended, but I do see the semiconductor market right now is kind of pulling up minus a few stocks like Intel right now, um, but Nvidia is doing amazing. Another great thing that's really driving AMD right now is UK regulators clear the acquisition of Silenex by AMD. Uh, originally, they had mentioned that they might have thought about taking it to a further phase investigation uh, but i think it was yesterday uh yesterday on it, it was reported today um but i think it came out last night that they agreed and hey there's no need for us to go any further and the deal can continue as progress there might be some other regulators that amd might have to go through but one less is great news for the company next taking a look after amd we're taking a look at intel intel today is down about 1.7 percent 1.4 percent now that i did reset uh so it has seen quite a pullback even though most semiconductor stocks are up right now 
A major reason is Intel falls on later server chip delays, and obviously AMD is going to pick up on that. So Intel was supposed to release a new version of their Xeon server chips, um, and it was supposed to go in production at the end of 2021, but to surprise, it's actually going to production in 2022. So this has some investors a little bit annoyed because right, this seems to become the normal of Intel right now. So the stock price is down about 1.3%. Another reason I do believe AMD has definitely seen a nice pull up. We can see though, Intel is one of those, I want to say one of the few semis right now that hasn't really seen much of a pull up. Again, mainly because of what's really happening. But I, I don't think people should sleep on Intel. It's not on my portfolio, but one I'm going to keep a heavy eye on, at least uh, for now. Right now, we can see it's definitely not overextended. The next company I want to take a look at is Disney, right? Disney is also kind of trending right now. It's down about 1%. Uh, nothing too too crazy but disney recently announced that they were they were supposed to start a program um where they were going to do a test trip uh, for their cruise line uh, and what i think was supposed to leave today but they postponed the trip until next month uh, the main reason for this postponement, uh, the main reason for the overall delay is disney is ex did not get kind of had inconsistency on their virus results uh so an inconsistent on virus results are need are seen as positive under the uh cdc um so for those reasons right now disney kind of delayed that trip there have been other cruise lines though that have already started um started their cruises out of united states which is a big gain to the overall cruise market not a market i'm very much interested in but i do have shares of disney and just wanted to see what's really happening right now disney has definitely seen quite a pull down but i mean this is i think it was super smart with their disney plus move um and now with things reopening Stock price definitely doesn't seem overextended from a short term or long term, short term or medium term moving average. So things look pretty, pretty good. The last company we are going to take a look at is Coupon. Uh, Coupon, I feel, is not one I have, an e commerce giant in South Korea, a uh, big player right now, market cap of $73.4 billion. This is a recent IPO company. I think they started a few months ago, right? April, March actually was, uh, it seems to be their IPO date since ipo the stock price has definitely seen better days it's still down about 14 percent from its uh, first day closing all uh, right and but it is up a nice amount today the stock is up 10.7 percent there's really no major news about the stock it, right now it's just moving off volume i, I want to say right it, this is a stock that has definitely taken a nice beating ever since it went ipo the emerging market i do believe is giving investors a form of buying opportunity if they want to get some exposure in the long term of things uh, and I guess investors were kind of just tired of this one just taking a beating. We can see definitely a nice, nice support around $35. Uh, and right now, not overextended. So for sure, this is definitely uh, sitting at at least attractive levels where people might want to keep an eye on. Uh, so those are pretty much the stocks I wanted to take a look at. It was just a quick update, guys. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode just to see what's happening on the market. I do think later on today, I am going to focus on a more heavy video on AMD and Intel. You know me. I'm huge, huge in the semiconductor industry. So I want to really take a look at what's happening in that industry. So take care, guys. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, and see you next time.